Hi everybody, welcome to Coal Valley. My name is Ashley McDowell and I am a sixth grade math teacher as part of our Coal Valley team. One thing that I absolutely love about Coal Valley is how we put a focus on relationships first. We recognize that every child is an individual and God created them in his image for his purpose. I love getting to know sixth graders and just working through what that stage of life looks like. Um, so having the freedom to really focus on teaching the whole child as opposed to just the academic piece has been truly a blessing for me. So in sixth grade, um, it's a little different than some of the earlier grades. We're getting ready for that middle school transition. So a typical day in sixth grade, you would start with your homeroom teacher, which is either myself or the reading or writing teacher. And during that time, we'll pray, we'll do our pledges, we'll do a little devotion. And then um, this year we've had, we go straight to specials from that. And we rotate throughout the week between music, PE, and computer. So your child will go to each of those throughout the day. On Fridays, we do get to go to all school chapel, which has been super fun just to worship and praise Jesus together. When we return from specials, we go and start rotating between our blocks. And so, they don't rotate with their homeroom. Children in sixth grade each have their own individualized schedule and part of our reasoning behind that is we do have the flexibility to really meet kids where they are academically. We move between the reading, writing, and math classes and within that they have we have a variety of levels of learning options. We have students who are in the general sixth grade core classes. We have students who take accelerated or even advanced and intellectually gifted classes. On the other end of that spectrum, we have a great student academic support program where students can receive a modified math program to really help them close that gap and catch up with their grade level. Within each of the classes, students rotate between a variety of learning activities. We'll start with a small warm-up activity, move into a full group instruction, and then move into a learning lab type model. It looks a little different at the older grades than it might where it's more hands-on in some of the younger grades, but with that, students are able to continue to work on continuing skills, growing skills, and reteaching, and that can be in the form of small groups with their peers, small groups with their teachers. Um, sometimes we'll even pull in technology and use that to support our instruction. Every class does look a little different just because of the subject nature. Math will look different than writing. Writing will look different than reading. And in reading, I know you guys get the opportunity to participate in book clubs. So it's not just you have to read one book along with your whole class. You get the freedom to choose your books and read some with friends, read some with other small groups, and really dive in and dissect those. Embedded within reading is also social studies and in sixth grade social studies covers advanced civilizations and within that it ties in so well to the Old Testament. We really get to see coming through history where does the Bible fit into that and where do the stories of our faith really grow from so that's been fantastic. In writing, we cover three different genres of writing, and in that you get to work on really developing yourself as a writer. You get to research, you get to rough draft, edit, revise, and make a beautiful finished product. There's also spelling and grammar and poetry and all those great things that really bring writing to life. One thing that is super fun in sixth grade is on Fridays after chapel, we get to do electives. So your child gets to choose something that they have a passion in. That might be art, it might be home ec, it could be an additional fitness class, Spanish. Every year the list changes based on the interests of our students. We really try to listen to what the students want and we cater to that. We want them to be excited and grow from that. Um, in addition to that, we do have STEAM, Science, Engineering, Technology, Art, and Mathematics that is pushed into the core classes once a week. It rotates throughout them, and it's really a full science lab that they get to work through and grapple with and work on exploring how did God engineer all these different facets of our world. Um, homework is another thing that parents often ask about. We do have required homework in sixth grade. In math, it typically looks, it's a continuation of what we finished in class that day. 
In reading, we love to see your child continuing that independent reading at home. So in addition to that, they might see some vocabulary review. And then in writing, you'll see a little bit of spelling practice, but for the most part, we try and keep as much as we can across the board in class so that we respect that time outside of school as well. It should take roughly, depending on your child, 20 to 30 minutes at the very most. In sixth grade, we get to participate in a variety of super special fun events. One of the things that's super fun about sixth grade, at the beginning of the year, we get to go on our sixth grade retreat. We all load up on a bus, head up into the mountains, and have some time. And really what we focus on during that time is emphasizing that our sixth graders are the leader of our elementary campus. A lot of our sixth graders are involved throughout the year in peer ministry and other leadership programs. And during that sixth grade retreat, it really allows us to start tapping into some of those natural God-given gifts in terms of leadership. So we have various speakers, various chapel sessions, and then also some just good quality bonding time for both the students and the teachers. In sixth grade, one of the other things we get to focus on primarily in reading and social studies is Greek civilizations. We get to tie in what does that look like from a biblical perspective, but then we wrap that unit up with a grand celebration of Greek Day. Everybody comes in their togas, we include the drama teacher, and we get to do a series of Greek plays, and throughout the day leading up to that, there's Greek Olympic games, we have art activities, we even enjoy a Greek lunch together. So that's something everybody always looks forward to. It's super fun. Later in the year, get to participate in the amazing race. We race around the school doing all sorts of different activities. And it's just a great team building event to finish out the sixth grade year and finish out our students' time at the elementary campus. And we always celebrate at the end of the year with a great sixth grade promotion. And it's a good time to bring families together and really celebrate everything that your child has accomplished in their time in elementary school. As you prayerfully consider what your next step is for your family and your child, we would love to welcome you to our school and we hope to see you soon. Thank you.